All right, so a couple of years ago, I made some videos about my time in South Korea and Japan, and if I'm being honest, they were not very good. But you know how most people tend to include the transition from one place to another? Well, I left out the time my sister and I made our way to Japan because honestly, the whole experience was just a roller coaster of emotions. Okay, so first things first Incheon Airport was a pain in the butt to get through. We weren't sure where to check in our luggage and made our way to one side of the airport when, in fact, our airline was on the complete other side of the building. The staff tried to help, but With their very limited English, their directions were incredibly vague. It was a rough start, but it wasn't the worst thing. On the other hand, getting through customs was a complete and total nightmare. Before you could get to customs, you had to wait in one of two lines. These lines led to a room where you then present your passport and boarding ticket, and then you can get to the conveyor belts. Sounds easy, right? Well, clearly you know that's not the case. Once you presented your passport and boarding ticket, there was no line that would direct you to the customs security. Once you turned that corner, everyone was literally smushed together, and you had to try and find your way to one of two lines. One side handled like five or six lanes, while the other side handled three. We chose the side with the most security screenings because, you know, thinking it would move quicker. Big mistake! We couldn't figure out why, but the line was moving stupid slow. Eventually, we figured out why. Apparently, people were completely ignoring the far two lanes, which resulted in the congested line. It also didn't help that nearly every single passenger had too much crap to put in the bins. There were some people that took up like five bins. Like, why are you carrying so much crap? When we got to the last turn, we just said, screw it, and beelined our way to the open lines. We didn't care there were still people waiting in line. If they didn't want to go to the obviously two open empty lines, then we would. It took us 40 minutes to get through that when it really only should have taken just 20 minutes. I was more irritated at the fact that there weren't any employees regulating the line. None of the staff were trying to control the traffic. Not one of them tried to direct people to their completely unused and completely open lane. And it's not like they didn't have any free employees. They just stood there, staring blankly into space. I also failed to mention that my sister at the time was in crutches. Standing in that line for 40 minutes with multiple people pushing up against her when she can just barely balance on her crutches. I can't even imagine how she felt. The fact that some of the employees saw my sister with her crutches clearly in distress and did absolutely nothing was where it really pissed me off. A simple, are you okay, would have been nice. Now, let me pause for a minute. I've worked in customer services, so I know some places won't straight out offer to assist a customer so as not to offend them unless otherwise asked. Where I worked, we had lines for those who were in wheelchairs, crutches, and the like. We just simply let them know of the line's existence, should they choose to use it or not. Not once were my sister and I informed of any such line, and I did ask if there was something they could do, something that could help my sister, to which they just, almost unapologetically, shook their head. <sighs> I'm getting so triggered right now. Thankfully, our gate was super close, so with 20 minutes left to spare, we got food at a Taco Bell, which, by the way, became the most delicious thing after such a stressful time ate as fast as we could, and by the time that we got to our gate, we were boarding. You know, thinking back on it, if my sister and I didn't make that beeline at the final turn of customs, I honestly think we would have missed our flight. Now, arriving in Kansai Airport was effortless, so I have no complaints with that. In fact, the whole experience was the complete opposite of what happened at Incheon Airport. Actually, all of Japan was just a complete gem when it came to my sister and her crutches. I can't tell you how many times we had people come up to us to offer help with our luggage. I need, I need water. I need water. Getting our JR passes took a while, but I wasn't mad. The line wasn't really all that long, but there were only two cashiers, and a lot of their guests were buying their tickets right then and there, with a lot of them also asking a ton of questions. 
I've been a cashier myself in situations where there were only two of us, so I had some empathy for them. And since I already did my research and bought my vouchers ahead of time, I just needed to fill out some paperwork. We took the train to our transferring station, and oh my god, we had no idea where to go. We didn't know what train to take next, or which platform. We had a basic idea of the platform, but then I had a moment of intimidation. There were so many trains coming in right after another. I didn't know what direction we had to go. It was pouring rain. It was dark. We were hungry. I was losing my frickin' mind and felt so vulnerable. But again, people in Japan are just absolute gems. I asked a woman sitting in another train if she knew which train would take us to our stop, and she quickly looked it up on her phone and pointed to the platform next to us. And at that exact moment, a businessman came up to me and asked if he could help me. I told him my stop, and he went to look at the train schedule. He then brought me to the right platform and told me what time the train was coming. I was so thankful, I sincerely wanted to start crying. After all of that, we finally got to our Airbnb. I think we were originally going to go out to eat, but we were just so exhausted and dead, we just got food from a convenience store and crashed. So, yeah. I think that was the most stressful day I've had from traveling, ever. I don't know if Incheon Airport's customs has always been like that, since that was my first time being there, and just recently visited Incheon Airport again last year, and the process was slightly different, but better. I kind of doubt it, because I feel like there's a very good chance we just went on a very bad day. But who knows? And also, thank you to all the strangers of Japan who helped my sister and I get to where we needed to be and helped with our luggage. The world needs more random acts of kindness and people like you. Hey everybody, welcome to the end card or the end credits or whatever the heck these are called, I don't know, but um, I'm really sorry that it took so long for me to get this video out. It honestly should not have taken as long as it did and I really have no excuse. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. If you did, please leave a like or comment and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, in the meantime, I hope that everybody is staying safe in this current time. Um, uh, I know it's not it's not easy, um, but just try and do your best and do your part. And again, just please stay safe. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace and love. Bye.